hello everyone in this short video I'm gonna show you how you can add device based hints to your uh, game so for example if a player is using a keyboard and mouse then the UI will show a hint based on the keyboard or mouse and if the player is using like a joystick, uh, joystick or a gamepad or a PlayStation controller then uh, the device will show a, a hint based on that so for example I have the game running here and if I go to this section as you can see in the bottom here I have a back button which you which the player can also press escape key to go back so if I press the escape it goes back now if I go back and uh, this time if I press anything on my controller as you can see the device hint changed from the keyboard which was escape to a B key which is uh, usually used in by gamepads to like go back so uh, yeah that's pretty much if I press anything on my keyboard now it goes back to escape so let me show you quickly how I have this setup so firstly I have this game object here which is a general game manager um, as you can see here it has the menu input actions which I have created myself uh, I will show you I will show you about that in a bit and I have a script here which is current active device manager so if I open this uh, let me open this script first so if I open this script now as you can see it is a quite small script I have a singleton for this and I have a public enum which is active device and it can be either keyboard or gamepad uh, you can you will have to like be careful with the naming of these uh, variables so other than that I have the reference to the player input and I also have a public variable for the for this enum and by default I'm setting the active device to be the keyboard and uh, on the update function I just check if the player input dot control current control scheme is gamepad then I set the active device to gamepad otherwise it's gonna be keyboard you can also put this on fixed update that would also work fine yeah that's pretty much it for this I'm just passing here the reference for the player input now let me show you the menu input actions which is also really simple here I only have like two actions here the escape key and the menu push to talk and I have two separate uh, button bindings for this action so on keyboard it is the escape key and on and on the gamepad the general gamepad not the like uh, platform specific like the PlayStation controller or Xbox controller it is just in general gamepad so any gamepad would work with this so this is the button east which will be the circle button on uh, PlayStation controller and uh, the B key on the Xbox controller so I have only two uh, control schemes here a gamepad one which which has this one this keys and a keyboard one and the naming of these will matter as this is the same name the of of the control scheme which i have in the enum of this active device so keyboard and gamepad because i only have two so this is why i i only have two uh, properties in this enum so that's pretty much it for the menu input actions and uh, this is the uh, player input component here on the current active device manager and I have the menu input actions this one in the actions so that's pretty much it for this so with this your like devices will be detected by the now let me show you how I'm handling the showing of like UI stuff so let me collapse this and I have this UI uh, component here which is the control button so I have a control image here which is just a normal uh, image and a text which will be the hint for the button and uh, this is just a normal button I just have a horizontal layout group so I can align these correctly inside 
here and let's go to the control button so i only have like two control schemes uh, one for gamepad and one for uh, keyboard and mouse so i i have one image sprite here for the pc control image and one sprite here for the controller uh, image control image so this will be shown when the device is a controller and i have the text here for the button and the image which will be showing the image for this and this is the text which will be the hint for of the button and uh, initially i am just setting the text of the button and on update i am just updating the image you can also do this in fixed update but i on, i i don't know why i have it on update so in the update image function you you're just gonna use the singleton of the current active device manager and check if the active device is the is, is a gamepad then you will just change the sprite to controller image and if not then just change the sprite to a pc control image and that's pretty much it it was quite difficult to find on the internet i searched a lot to find this then i just came up with this solution for the time being if you are looking for this i hope this helped if this helped you you can leave a like on, in this video and on this video and subscribe to the channel and uh, if and this is a game i am currently working on it is a multiplayer horror game so if that is something uh, you are interested in you can subscribe to the channel for more videos and this project is also currently not funded so if you want to support this even further you can check out my patreon which is linked in the description and if you want to uh, participate in the testing of this game you can also join the discord which is also linked in the description uh, and that's pretty much it see ya